Hi there, welcome to Zorka's Fashion Academy. Today we shall be making lace panties with edging in the front and at the back. We're going to use pico edge elastic that will go around the waist and on the gusset. The gusset will be lined with stretch jersey and covered with the lace itself. As you can see here, these are the fabric requirements for these panties. This model is called Apricot. And you can find our pattern at our Etsy shop. Now let's get cracking. Firstly, you should check your pattern where it says no seam allowance. This is where you have to place on your lace edging where the scallops are. Here we have doubled up the fabric, making sure that the scallops align. Pin and cut around your both patterns. Now we are ready to cut our gusset. Sometimes it depends on what pattern your gusset doesn't fit in the width of your lace. In this case our lace is 22 centimeters and our gusset is a bit longer, around 25. If you fold the lace diagonally you can Put the pattern on the fold of the fabric. This way it's got a two-way stretch including a bias. Pin and cut around your pattern but don't cut along the folded edge. These are the pattern pieces that you should have. Two for the front and two for the back. Both cut with the scalloped edge and one gusset cut on the fold. Now we need to cut the lining for our gusset. Take your lace and place on top of the jersey, making sure that the right side of the lace is facing you. You can now pin and cut the jersey. Now we need to cut our pico edge elastic. In the gusset there's no need for it to be stretched, so all you need to do is place your elastic on the edge of the pattern and cut. Make sure that you cut two of the same size. Now we are ready to sew. But first you have to prepare the pico edge on the gusset. Making sure that the scallop edge is facing towards the inside of the gusset, pin right sides together. If you put one pin on either side of the end of the gusset and then one in the center, you will make sure that it's aligned. Do this on both sides of the gusset. Set your sew machine on a zigzag and sew over the pico edge elastic more or less in the center. Stretch very slightly all the way along. Do this on both sides. Once your pico edge is sewn, Fold it towards the wrong side of the gusset and with a large zigzag, top stitch the lace, the jersey and the elastic down, leaving the tiny little scallop outside. You will see that with this zigzag, your gusset actually stretches quite a bit. Now we're ready to attach our gusset to the front, but first of all, you have to sew your center front seam. Pin together and make sure that you place a pin from the edge of the fabric one centimeter towards the inside at the bottom. You have to leave this free. So when you sew at one centimeter seam allowance, don't go down to the very bottom. Stop approximately a centimeter from the edge. As you can see here, we have sewn our seam, but we haven't sewn up to the end. This is so that we can attach the point of our gusset in that opening. Placing right sides together, position the point of your gusset in the little opening that you left before. 
making sure that the sides of the gusset align with the scalloped edge on the front of the panties. Pin both sides, lace, gusset, pico edge and the front of your panties together. Sew across one side and then the other. Now that you have sewn your gusset to your panties, you have to top stitch the edge. Set your sewing machine on a large zigzag and top stitch the front gusset, the join of the, both the panties and the gusset, and then top stitch the center front seam of the panties. You can either do this together or as a separate stitch. We are now ready to sew our center back seam. Placing your right sides together, pin and sew with a slight zigzag at approximately one centimeter seam allowance. Now we are ready to top stitch our seam. Change your settings on your sewing machine to a larger zigzag and top stitch the seam from top to bottom, like we did in the front. Once we have top stitched the seam, turn around and check if there's extra seam allowance. Trim off any excess to make this seam narrower and much more comfortable to wear. We are now ready to attach our gusset to the back of the panties. Fold the gusset in half and find the center and with right sides together align the center gusset with the center of the panties and pin. Then pin either side where the pico edge finishes and the scallop of the panties commences. Pin them both together edge with edge. Do this on both sides. Now you can sew at one centimeter seam allowance. Once sewn, you can again top stitch your seam to flatten it out with a larger zigzag. We are now ready to join your side seams. Pin right sides together and make sure that the edgings are equal. Sew at one centimeter seam allowance on both sides. Once you have sewn, you're going to top stitch, but make sure that you push one seam to the left and one seam to the right, so that they're both equal. Now we have to cut the pico edge for our waist. Take your pico edge elastic and place on the waist of your pattern, short of one centimeter of either side of your waist. Do this on both front and back. 
Then fold the elastic and double it up. In this example, you can see that our waist was 38 plus 38 equals 76. Because of the stretch of the fabric, we have to deduct some elastic so that it fits snug around our waist. In this case, for the waist, we have to deduct 10%. 10% of 76 is 7.6, 7 centimeters, 6 millimeters. Once you deduct your 10%, you have to allow 2 cm for seam allowance so that you can sew the elastics together. Taking your pico edge elastic, pin right sides together and sew across at approximately 1 cm seam allowance. Once the pico edge is sewn, Push the seam allowance to one side and top stitch it to keep it flat. Now you need to half and quarter your elastic. Finding the center point, place a pin, then fold the center with the seam and find your quarters, also placing a pin. Now you have your quarters ready to attach to your panties. Taking the seam of the elastic, place it on the back seam of your panties right sides together. Then continue pinning the sides with a quarter, the center front seam with a half and the other side seam with a quarter. Making sure they are right sides together and the scallop edge of the elastic is facing towards the inside of the panties as opposed to the outside. Now you are ready to sew the elastic. We shall do it in the same manner as we did the gusset, sewing a zigzag more or less in the center of the pico edge elastic. You will be pulling very slightly from pin to pin, from your half to your quarter, making sure that you attach the elastic to the edge of the panties. Once this is done, change the setting of your sewing machine to a larger zigzag. Fold the pico edge towards the wrong side of the panties and top stitch on top of the lace with a wider zigzag. Again, stretching slightly all the way around. So, this is it. You have finished your panties. I hope you enjoyed making them as much as I do. This would be a lovely gift for yourself or for anybody else. If you'd like to buy our patterns, please go to our Etsy shop. We have many different styles and patterns for you to choose from. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up.